Hey there, and welcome back to the Relationship School Podcast. What is going down, people? Great to have you back. If you're a returning listener, if you're new, thanks for being here. This podcast is all about love, connection, and human relationships. We aim to help you get better at relationship. Uh, That could be with your colleagues, friends, family, or intimate partner. I focus a lot on the intimate partner relationship because it's one of the hardest ones. Uh, I'm married 14 years and uh, 18-ish together. And it's, uh, it's to me, one of the greatest adventures of all in life is partnership. But it requires a lot of tenacity and uh, working on oneself if you want it to be fulfilling for you. Yeah. Okay. In this episode, I'm going to talk about why you might hire a relationship coach instead of a therapist, or why you might have both in your arsenal in terms of your personal growth journey. There is a time and a place for a therapist, and there's a time and a place for a relationship coach. So I want to get into that in this episode. As you know, just for backstory, I'm both, technically. I'm a therapist and I'm a coach. I don't call myself a psychotherapist anymore because many, many years ago, I let go of my license. I was a professional licensed counselor in the state of Colorado and had a full private practice and decided to leave that world behind because it felt too constraining for me for a number of reasons. And I wanted to get my message out and reach more people, which is partly why I'm doing this podcast. And I wanted to make more money. I wanted to work with a different kind of client. And I like coaching in general. So that's just for backstory, okay? Um, Therapy, therapist turned coach, okay? And these days, that's probably going to be a lot more common, given that therapists can't work across state lines, and they have to stay in their state to practice legally. They can't do a Zoom call with a client out of state unless they call themselves a coach. And there's a whole journey they have to make there to become a coach. So you, there might be some of you therapists that are listening. So welcome here. Um, yeah, please leave a comment uh, in this on social if you listen to this and you got value, if you want to add a couple things. And if you're a coach and looking to be a relationship coach, I think this will be valuable for you as well. Now, if you're in pain going through your relational life, which is sometimes why we listen to podcasts, you have a decision to make. There's a, there's a fork in the road and it's like, do I hire a therapist or do I hire a relationship coach? And I'm going to advocate for relationship coaching for a couple of reasons, which you'll hear about. And you might also need a therapist in your corner, depending on what you're dealing with. Okay. So I'm going to talk about therapy first. All right. And how it's used by most people. And then I'm going to talk about coaching. And at the end, I'll make kind of a final recommendation. All right. And I think this is valuable because this being a relationship podcast I don't always think you should go to therapy for your relationship challenges. It doesn't make sense depending on what you're going through, right? And a lot of people, I get so many emails over the years of people saying therapy didn't work. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Your classes are extraordinary. They've changed my life. Finally, I feel like I'm getting different results. Therapy didn't do anything. So I know that's not true for everybody, of course, but that's true for a lot of people. It's just like, if I just sit and talk about my relationship problems, they're supposed to somehow get better. So it's also how we use the modality, right? All right. So therapy is used in three main ways. I see, uh, it's used for trauma resolution. It's used to address mental illness and mental health challenges, long-term attachment issues, for example, and it's used as a band-aid or quick fix. Okay. So I'm going to unpack each one of these. Let's start with the last one. So when you're in pain and you're in a crisis with your relationship, 
you might try to hurry up and see a couple's counselor or a couple's therapist to try to get out of pain. Because whatever you're doing at home, you're like, shit, we need help. So you hire the couple's counselor to either help you individually or you as a couple. And you want out of pain. And let's say it's an amazing therapist and you have one session and it's done and you're like, cool, we're good again. Because they helped you get through the hard spot. That's using it as a band-aid. And that can work. That's, that's okay. Uh, we all need a band-aid when we get cuts from time to time. But it's not going to get you long-term transformation, right? Okay, uh, let's go back to the second one, which was addressing mental health and mental illness. So therapies, depending on what kind it is, whether it's CBT, DBT, um, there's so many therapies nowadays, uh, can address and can be very helpful with long-term mental illness, eating disorders, um, addiction. Okay, if you have an actual diagnosis that you're dealing with that, that in addition maybe requires medication, which would be a psychiatrist, therapist don't give medication, but they do diagnose and they work collaborati collaboratively if they're good with a psychiatrist who can help monitor their medication and get blood work done, etc. So a therapist, the second reason you would hire a therapist is if you have um, kind of chronic mental health challenges. You have major depression, you have bipolar disorder, you have an eating disorder, um, you have uh, complications in, in how your mind works and how you relate to other people. Uh, Long-term therapy in this way can, can be very helpful. Now, it can also not do much, of course, but it can be helpful here. And then the third reason you might hire a therapist is because you have trauma to heal. And the trauma technology over the last 10 or 15 years has really gotten better. Now we have, um, I'm going to make a couple recommendations here, that if you're dealing with trauma, because uh, there's something that happened to you when you were a child, you were sexually abused, for example, or you were physically abused, and now you're finding yourself in an adult abusive relationship, you might want to go back and do trauma therapy around your past, if you haven't dealt with it, as well as your current challenging, abusive, or you know, aggressive, or whatever it is, relationship, because you keep getting stuck in those kind of dynamics. Therapy, specifically trauma therapy, can, can help. Um, and if you have childhood trauma specifically, it can be awesome. So I've done a lot of trauma therapy. I've studied as a trauma therapist. Uh, I was certified as an EMDR therapist. I was certified as a sensory motor psychotherapy therapist. That's under the work of Pat Ogden. Um, and the modalities of somatic experiencing Peter Levine's work, who I've interviewed on the podcast can be really, really good for trauma release and trauma healing. All right. Nowadays, also there's psychedelic therapy that as we legalize MDMA, psilocybin and LSD, we can have psychedelic assisted psychotherapy. So, um, like MDMA assisted psychotherapy. They're in phase three of their clinical trials. It's looking very optimistic that we're going to have better modalities coming soon. Of course, you can do that stuff illegally currently or in if you're in a research project. Um, and it's very effective, for example, for PTSD. So our technology for dealing with trauma is getting better and better, I think. Um, and it's awesome. So so if you have trauma, you want to go find a trauma therapist and a trauma program to like really work through that stuff. Okay. That's therapy. Um, now people ironically come to therapists for their relationship problems, but it might be the case that a lot of those therapists do not study relationships for a living and don't take relationship courses and aren't training very specifically in relationships. I think that's often the case with therapists. They don't take very targeted, hardcore relationship specific training. They're training in all kinds of stuff. Like I, in fact, I didn't even have a class in, in my three year master's degree on relationships, not one. So anyway, I created lots of programs and became a relationship coach because I saw that so many people's problems stem from relationship issues, 
That could be attachment issues. That could be early childhood relationship issues. That could be intimate relationship issues, breakups, you know, uh, challenges, getting through arguments, divorces and stuff where people can't figure it out. So if you're in the camp of you're struggling in your relationship, and I think you want a relationship specialist, which to me is a relationship coach. And of course you want to find a relationship coach that's coming from a legitimate source and a program that's solid, that you trust, that you know that this person can likely guide you through your relationship challenge you're going through right now. Now, coaching is also about results. Coaching is about um, moving, it's about setting goals and moving from where you are to where you want to be, which is your goal, okay? I'm in, let's say, a troubled marriage or an intimate partnership where I don't feel like I'm getting my needs met, I want to hire a relationship coach to help me get through that challenge because that's what they're studying. That's what the relationship coach is trained to deal with. And they're not trained in the trauma stuff or the mental health stuff. So you wouldn't hire a relationship coach for that. But if you're in a marriage or an intimate relationship and you're dealing with relationship challenges, in my opinion, you go hire a relationship coach. Um, it just makes sense. Think about it. it. To me, it sounds like common sense, I think, as I describe it, right? So coaching is results-based. It's about setting goals and then working hard consistently over time to accomplish your goals. It, it's not about band-aids. It's about, think about it like a personal trainer. When you go hire a health coach or a fitness coach, um, it's not about, I'm going to get in shape in a couple of sessions. I'm going to get in shape even in a month, it might be like, dude, we have a 30 day program or a 90 day program or a year long program where you're going to quote train to become stronger, healthier, more fit human being. Right. I think we all understand that personal training uh, and getting more fit in your health requires consistent effort. So why would you expect a better relationship outcome in your life without consistent effort? So again, a relationship coach can help hold you accountable with a map and tools to help you go from where you are, whatever pain you're going through relationally to where you want to be. Here's what's also cool about a relationship coach, specifically our relationship coaches that I've trained. I've certified now uh, about a hundred relationship coaches and they don't work with trauma or mental illness. And I ask them, guys, refer that to someone else because that's not your lane. Stay in your lane. So you could be hire you could hire a relationship coach and all of a sudden during the work of three months in you some old trauma surfaces and it's triggered in your relationship. Uh, you could also go like, hey, I also need to go see a trauma specialist to work through this thing. Do some EMDR, do some brain spotting, whatever. Okay, so it might be both, and then in addition, you might hire someone else, or you might take some classes here at the relationship school because you want to go all in on the project of getting good, getting very good at communication, repairing after conflict. And you know that that's going to take some effort, right? I don't know any therapist that I'm aware of, and I've interviewed dozens on this podcast that have a map and a system to work through your relationship challenges. I know that we have that because that's what I've created here. Cause I'm I got tired of complaining that that didn't exist uh, for high school students, college students, and adults going through relationship challenges. So I created, right, the only, I think, the most comprehensive class on relationships on the planet, Deeper, DPIR, relationship, our Relationship Mastery Course. So anyway, you could also, you could like go all in and say, okay, I've got my trauma therapist, I've got my relationship coach, and I'm going to take this Relationship Mastery Course because I want a permanent upgrade, right? And I think coaching specifically gives you a permanent upgrade because it's like weight training. It's like um, training for a marathon. It's like um, repatterning your nervous system over time to get you the results you want. And you set goals. And the coach reflects back how you're showing up and they call bullshit on you. A coach challenges you and supports you to become a stronger, better version of yourself. Okay, a, a therapist, in my experience, a lot of therapy gets a bad rap because the therapist just nods their head and it turns into a coffee date where they just listen to you and you pay them to vent. Guys, that gets you nowhere, 
Okay. And I've specifically trained our coaches like, guys, do not tolerate that shit. Challenge people, interrupt them, get back to the goal, right? This person wants something and our coaches are trained to challenge you. All right. Just like a personal trainer would. Okay. So hopefully this has been helpful uh, that you see the difference now between therapy and coaching. And I'm going to make a recommendation that you hire one of our coaches and test it out. That instead of going to counseling or therapy, you say, gosh, it is true that I am struggling with a relationship challenge. I'm going to try instead a relationship coach and see what kind of results I get. Now you're part of the problem, right? Like sometimes a client, us clients, we go to the coach or therapist and we want to be fixed or we want them to wave their magic wand, which they can't do. You don't go to a personal trainer hoping that the trainer is going to lift the weights for you. You know that shit, I'm going to be the one lifting the weights. Ugh, there's going to be pain. There's going to be discomfort. There's going to be some growth here. And it's, uh, and I, our coaches love to work with willing people who are willing to put in the reps. So if that, if you qualify for that and that's you and you want some relationship help and you want it specialized to your unique situation, right? Because sometimes on this podcast, I talk in broad terms, um, because I'm talking to a lot of people. If you want very targeted help around your situation, hire one of our coaches, okay? And go to relationshipschool.com forward slash get coaching now. That's a special link for the podcast listeners. And you'll have to enter a coupon code first 50. Because you're going to get we're going to give you podcast listeners 50% off your first month of coaching with us. That's relationshipschool.com forward slash get coaching now. And then when you check out, you choose the package you want. Um, It's monthly packages. And you say, hell yeah, I want 50% off my first month to try this thing out. And you enter first 50 as your coupon code. And guys, our coaches are awesome. They're amazing people. They're on the journey themselves. They're studying relationships all the time. And they're here to support you in your and be in your corner while you go through what you're going through. Okay. You want an ally, a mentor, a guide to help you in your relational life. All right. I always have a coach, by the way. I always have a therapist. um, And I go in and out of coaching and therapy over years. Right. I'm seeing my therapist here in what, about a week. Yeah. And, um, I worked with a coach for many, many months, uh, several months ago. I I paused super helpful. Okay. So therapy and coaching, you might need both, but if you're dealing with relationship challenges specifically, I want to strongly encourage you to hire a relationship coach. Get coaching now. Okay. Relationshipschool.com forward slash get coaching now coupon code first 50. And we're psyched to see you in our programs. And um, hopefully you'll work with one of our coaches. Okay, everybody, thanks. And we'll talk soon. Hey, folks, good news. My new book, Getting to Zero, How to Work Through Conflict in Your High Stakes Relationship is available for pre order. And here's what's cool. If y'all support me, and you pre order it, you get some cool stuff. Like I just recorded a four part mini video series on how to work through conflict, highlighting some of the chapters in the book. You can also get chapter one uh, for free if you want to start digging in before the book comes out October 5th. So uh, go to getting to zero book.com, getting to zero book.com. And uh, thanks for being a listener and soon to be a reader of my new book direct, effective help. Check them out. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share one of these videos with a friend. We want to help the planet get their act together around relationships. And you are one of them. So thank you.